So you got jobs, we've got job seekers, IT, healthcare, finance experts, their 30 second pitch straight ahead. Time now for the 30 second pitch. Every week we try to get you a job. Richard Pachofsky lost his IT job last May. He'd had the position for 12 years. He's in New York this morning. Then we've got Eddie Turner. He worked as a healthcare analyst until he lost his job in December 2007. He's joining us from Chicago. And Lyle Nasser was a financial analyst for an HMO until last February when he was laid off. He's joining us from Denver. Guys, thanks so much. Eddie, let's start with you. Tell me what the heck happened. Did you see it coming? Oh, no, I didn't. But in December uh, 2007, I was working as a senior help desk analyst for General Electric right here in Chicago. And so were you prepared at all financially? Uh, did you feel the effects immediately? No, I, I was prepared. I've tried to follow good fiscal discipline and follow the rule of having six month salary, eight month salary put away, but uh, didn't think that the vicissitudes of the economy would last this long. Sure. Richard, what about you? No, well, we had a, a five year plan and we kind of expected that something was coming on with the economy. So uh, we're, we're holding our own. Were you able to have a good savings account uh, to that point, or has it been a struggle? Well, I had a good severance package, and uh, like I said, we put in uh, a long-term financial plan, and with frugal spending and putting some money aside, we're uh, doing all right. Lyle, how about you? Well, one of the things when the economy started going down, uh, people start losing their health care coverage. So mm -hmm. members to the HMO were um, pretty much dropping off. So it sort of got to a point to where uh, cuts would come eventually. So you were you prepared financially or was it an immediate struggle for you? I mean, we're not always ready for this. Our savings accounts, you know, aren't always ready to go. Oh, I was, I was not ready for this, but um, I've coped. Wow. All right, guys, let's get right to it then. Eddie Turner, let's start with you. Look straight into that camera. You got 30 seconds. Give us your pitch. Well, I am extremely passionate about technology and learning, and I am very interested in using my years of experience in technology support and teaching combined with my Northwestern education to help manage an organization's technology project team or an organization that has a learning and talent development department, I'd love to help them power up their employee engagement through the use of technologies such as social media and the Apple iPhone. Look at that, right on the money, and you're very good with time. All right, Richard Pachowski, take it away. Hi, you're looking for someone who has more than just a focus on uh, technology. You're looking for someone who has... That's okay, go for it, tell us, just speak to me. Talk, like we're sitting at the dinner table. Go ahead, Richard, what do you have? What can you offer? That... That's okay, regroup for a second, no problem. Okay. Go ahead, take it again. Okay, you're looking for someone who is more than the, just technology savvy. Someone who has customer focus and international experience. A, pro, a person who is a problem solver, analytical, yet still has common sense. I'm that person. I have great customer focus skills and great soft skills. I have the ability to take end-to-end -end ownership of a project and the determination to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Fantastic, Richard. Thank All right, you, Lyle. And oh, you, it's okay. You don't have to thank us. We're gonna move right on to Lyle Nasser. Go ahead, Lyle. I'm Lyle Nasser. I'm a results-oriented professional with demonstrated experience in budgeting, capital planning, and corporate strategy. I have a BBA in business and an MPA from the CU School of Public Affairs. I'm looking for a position in healthcare, nonprofit, or a political campaign. If you need someone hardworking 
and the self-starter, I'm your guy. There we go. Lyle Nasser, Richard Petowski, and also Eddie Turner. It ain't easy doing live TV, but you guys did great. Gentlemen, keep me posted. Let me know what happens, all right? Thank you, Kira. Oh, thank, thank you. you very much. Thanks, guys. Well, you can find out more about these folks and get their email addresses by visiting my blog. And if you want to be part of our 30-second pitch, just send your resume to 30secondpitch at CNN.com.